Hello, Eric. This is Hal. Fire and rain. Let's get right to it. Okay, let's talk about the uh, critical parts. Here's the, the intro. Just yesterday morning. Now let's talk about exactly what I did there. I'm using that first chord, which is actually an A chord, up here. Kind of looks like an F. It's up on the, now I've got the capo on the fourth fret. One, two, three, four, five. It's on the fifth fret. I'm using these three notes right here. And I slide up to fret number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And then I slide that same note down. Two frets. D chord. And then we do a hammer on right there. This is a D9. And then you hammer it on to D. A chord. So it sounds like this all together. And then we have this part. Right? The notes are like this. Right? So we got that A chord. Right? And what I do, you can use three fingers like this. You know how you play an A chord like this? You can slide that one up. That's actually an A sus4. So you slide that back, open it up. You're going to play this note right here on G, and then you're going to hammer on on the B string back to that. So it's going to look like this. And you got to practice it a little bit so it'll work out. Right? So it goes. Oops. Aha. And then E chord, G major 7. And when I play this, I play my low E string, and then my D string, and then I come up here and get the second fret and go that way. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight notes right there. And then we go right into the core, uh, the verse. Just yesterday morning, they let me know you were gone. Same thing, just like the intro. Suzanne, the plans they made put an end to you. And then you do the same thing again. Walked out this morning, then I wrote down the song. Just can't remember who to send it to. Okay, now we get into the chorus, D chord. I do it like this, because the next chord is going to be D with a C sharp bass, like that. If you play it like this, and you can reach up here and play that if you want to, but, you know, that, that's a little awkward. So I use a little a bar across for those two notes. I've seen five. And then we go right into the B minor chord, which is this finger. If you use this chord right here, you never have to move that, that second finger on the third fret on the B string. I've seen fire and I've seen rain. Oh, A chord. So let's do that again. Chorus. I've seen fire and I've seen rain. A. You can do that if you want. I've seen sunny days that I thought would never end. I've seen lonely times when I could not find a friend. And I always thought that I'd see you again. Now what I do right there, that last line of the chorus, G chord. I always thought, right, you got a G chord. I play it like that which is my second finger on the E string, my third finger on the E string up here. I don't even worry about this one. I mute this A string with this finger. Always thought, and this is my G with an F sharp bass. I'm not playing my A string. I'm playing my second fret right there. Not that I'd see you 
Let's see, my X chord is E minor. See you. Of course, you can do it like this if you want. See you again. And when I say again on again, then I hit that A string. Again. And then I do the A minor 9. Now, this is not really an A minor 9. I mean, when you look it up on the internet, you'll see like a whole bunch of ways to play A minor 9. One way I found was like that. It's an A minor 9 with no third, right? And that works good. But when, the way I play it is I actually don't have that finger on it. It's an open D string. And I believe that's what uh, James Taylor is doing. And so it's really an A minor 9 with a, an, an added D or a add 4. Okay, so it's like, I never thought that I'd see hit that A note, and then I strum the other part, just an open A note. When you look down upon me, Jesus, you gotta help me make a stand. You gotta see me through another day. My body is aching and my time is at hand. I went right into that A sus4. Uh, that's not the way I really do it. I've seen fire and I've seen rain. Now, what I did there, I didn't really get that that part in. So I So you just kind of work with it. You know, if you can go right to it. I like to do that. doing that slide. Sometimes I just play the A chord and just do that little thing. It sounds really good when you lift up on that, do that little hammer on like that. Okay, um, at the end of the chorus, let's go to the, the last chorus here. I was kind of playing through the song so you see exactly what I do. But I always thought that I'd see you again this is what I do for the ending. Thought I'd see you one more time again. A chord. I've been making my way. E minor. This time around now. A. Thought I'd see you. Thought I'd see you fire and rain. Thought I'd see you. Fire and Rain, James Taylor. Okay, we'll talk to you later.